We are Ham Radio. Welcome back, everybody. It's Freddie Mac, and I'm back with another video, and this one is to help you out with programming the Baofeng UV17 Pro GPS model. This software here is available at hamradiolife.org. If you just go to software downloads and find the Baofeng UV17 section, you will find this programming software there. This is an unofficial build by Terry Kennedy. It kind of helps out with a few things with the GPS model, so that's the version that I chose. This is the software installed and up and running for the first time. I chose UV17 Pro, but you can also choose the UV18, 19, 20, 21, 22 Pro. I'm choosing the UV17 Pro. Now, I plugged in my programming cable and it is plugged into my UV17 Pro GPS, the black one. I have two, but I want to make sure the port is set right. And I'm betting it's going to be COM4 since that's one of my non standards. We'll choose that and we'll hit read from the radio. What do you know? I got it right. Okay. Now, if you've ever programmed any Baofeng radios or any of the CCRs that are out there, a lot of these softwares are pretty much the same. But you can see I've programmed in this 462.700. That's my home uh, GMRS frequency, but this is a simplex channel on low. I'll take that back. This is the repeater channel on low. So this is my home GMRS repeater channel frequency. And I've labeled it WRUT923, which is my GMRS call sign. And this next one is a GMRS channel that is in Oak Mulgee. But I've also got some ham frequencies in here as well. And it'll also do 220. It'll also do MERS, uh, 2 meter, 70 centimeter, etc., etc., etc. So program in the frequencies as you see fit. You can also. go to the next zone. Let's see if you hit previous, you'll notice right up here is the zone names. Go to previous, zone two, zone one. I put in extra zones in here. And if you come right up here to radio function, you'll see all the settings for the radio as you see fit. I chose logo because I uploaded my Ham Radio Crusader logo for the boot screen. But the problem is, the boot timing cannot be adjusted, so it's only there for like a half a second. And you would barely even get a chance to focus on it before it goes on into the main screen. You can set the radio squelch here, power save mode, timeout timer, timeout timer alarm. Dual watch, I always do that because I want to hear the receive traffic on both the A and B VFOs. Pilot tones are for some repeaters. They mainly are used in other countries. Need some kind of subtone for the other than a PL tone to activate a repeater. Repeater tail clear. It tries to mask a repeater squelch tails. Doesn't always work, but it's kind of handy. I don't know exactly how repeater tail delay works. Still fiddling around with that. And there's that power on logo. The beep on is for the key beeps. Roger beep is off because I'm not a Roger beep kind of person all the time. Mainly sometimes on GMRS, if I'm just doing uh, simplex GMRS with a friend, we can get our Roger beeps down so we know who's talking. And there's the language, the, the voice prompts, scan mode, all these other functions that you are used to in a lot of the CCR radios. But if you want the channel labels to be displayed, you want to change this channel A display type to name. You can also have frequency or channel number, but I prefer name so that the channel label is displayed in channel mode. Same with the B. And I like to come down here to GPS switch and turn it on. You can turn this off, off and on in the radio's menu as well. The GPS mode is set to this GPS plus Bido by default. Uh, this is America's standard of GPS and Bido, Bido, Bido. How do you know? I don't know. Is uh, for uh, some other countries. I don't know which. And then there's, there's your GPS time zone, minus minus six. And display A and I on or off. That's automatic number identification. Haven't got this to work yet because I'm sure I'm doing something wrong. Nonetheless, you can come back up here to window. 
and show the VFO mode and these are some defaults you can set for the VFO mode, the Variable Frequency Oscillator. Okay, so when it comes to zones, you'll notice when you first turn it on, it'll be Zone 1, and you can go to the next zone and the next zone, and you see that it changes up here, but it also changes here. And here you can give it a custom label like GMRS. And then you could add in a GMRS channel. And just make it simplex if you want. Give it a name. I like dashes. And then save your work. And then you can hit this previous and go back to your other zones. The key to get these 17 Pro GPS version radios to talking to each other and sharing their location rather is right up here in the DTMF section. Go to window, go to DTMF, and these are contacts. And for some reason they go right to left, right to left, right to left. The ones with the Chinese characters, were there, they were in there by default. But let's say you bought five of these radios. I labeled the first two for the purpose of the video, orange and black, and the, I would clone this same code plug into each radio so that they would both have the same contact list. Let's say we've got radio 4, radio 5 is 105, that's the code, which is actually the radio's number, and then that is a label. So 105 could be, oh, well, that's Fred, and 106 could be a friend of mine over in in Shawnee and this one could be just you could share and put in a bunch of contacts apparently at least 20 I don't know if there's a limitation or not but you could put these all in and if all these radios were in proximity of each other then you could when you go to the GPS screen and push the PTT if you're all on the same frequency they're all receiving your last location whether they're in GPS mode or not they can just go into GPS mode, flip over to your contact, and get your last known location. But this is where you're going to put it all in. But right down here, where it says radio ID, that is the ID of this radio. So this is the black one that I'm programming. It, its code is 102. The orange radio is 101. But this is where you're going to set the unique ID for the radio that you're programming. Just make sure that this number is in the contact list of the friends that you're sharing your location with. That's interesting. I wonder if that's what I needed to change. Nonetheless, once you've got it named and the other contacts in there, you're just going to come back up here and write it back into the radio. Okay. So now we're here at the radio after we've programmed it and you can see the labels are the channel labels are showing. And I want to take this moment to point out to Baofeng and all those other cheap Chinese radio developers out there, a lot of the age group dynamic that you're targeting in the United States are old men like me who like cheap radios. Please make the channel label text bigger because look, the frequency's nice and large, which is great, but sometimes we forget, what's that frequency go to? What's that say? The text is awful small. Now I look like I'm talking into a cell phone because I can't read the text and I have to get really close to it. This has been a service of Old Men of America. All right, moving on. Nonetheless, you can see we're back in the memory mode. I want to show you real quick, bank in the menu also means zone in the programming software. Oh look, now there's three zones. And I've given them, given one of them, a unique name. Return. And there's that GMRS 700 channel that I put in there. And it's showing on both VFOs because it's the only channel in that zone. Bank. We can go to zone two. Hit the return. There's my home all-star node. There's my 70 centimeter repeater. 
I'd see only two channels in the zone. So let's go back to the main zone. I keep going the wrong direction. And we've got several channels. That's the courthouse GMRS. That's my friend's GMRS repeater. That's my home all-star node, 220 test channel, uh, the county jail. Nonetheless, there it is. That's my GMRS repeater at home. And don't get me wrong, these radios work pretty good for that. It's just the one thing I would probably uh, improve upon in this radio is the battery size. I believe it's like an 1800 milliamp hour. I'd like to see it be a 2500 or more. But the way they designed the radio, it would it would have to bulk out a little bit more in the back. But don't get me wrong, that, that light is kicking now. And this side piece for the K-type connector, not bad. It snaps into place and stays there. That is not a USB-C. The USB-C's back here. Sometimes I forget to pop it, the little cover back into place, but when I do, it stays there. The screw helps keep the battery in place just fine. Takes away from the bulkiness of the back. But I gotta find a screwdriver or, or a nickel or something like that pretty much every time. But I'm telling you what, uh, still a little impressed with this radio. It acquires its GPS signal fairly quickly. And you can, like I said, you can come down here in the GNS, GNSS menu option, go to GPS on or off and turn it back off. But you also should seriously consider setting your time zone here if you didn't do it in the software and choose the mode, which this mode has been working for me. So I have not tested it for spectral purity because I don't have the ability. We may get into that in the near future, but I wanted y'all to get a good look at the programming software so you'd know the little tweaks that you may or may not have to do in that contact list just so you can share your location with others. But as it sits right now, I've only been able to successfully share my G GPS location with another Baofeng UV-17 Pro GPS. Now, don't get me wrong. I've got a U Baofeng UV-17R, I believe it is. The, the case, the chassis, is identical. It even has the GPS insignia on the top of it, but it does not have a GPS feature. I'm sure they did this to save money, keep costs down, and the firmware that's in it is completely different. The frequency display number fonts are separate. They're, they're completely different. A lot of the rest of the radio looks very much the same. Our GPS insignia has turned white, which means it's acquired its signal. And it's sent out. Neat little radio. I gotta give them that. There you have it, folks, the programming software for the Baofen UV-17 Pro GPS. You can find it at hamradiolife.org. Go to the software download section, and you will find the orange Baofen UV-17 Pro icon with some other software there that you might find interesting, along with some other models of radios. So, so visit the website now. Visit the website often. We appreciate you. Hey, this is Freddie Mac wishing all the good signals to be yours and saying, ham on, y'all.